For five years, ride-sharing service Uber has dominated and saturated the market, offering us an alternative to taxis. But it now has some serious competition, with a new service promising cheaper fares and better deals for drivers. It's late and busy. You need a ride right now. You get an Uber, but you're faced with this surge pricing. For this reason alone, Uber, the taxi disruptor, needed a competitor. Today it got one from Estonia of all places. We're launching with 50% discount and we will taper out to sitting about 5% below our competition over the next year. The model is almost identical to Uber. Similar app, when you order, you can see on your phone where the driver is. You prepay by card. Maybe it needs some competition, but there's no sign that Australians are getting sick of Uber. They're, they're actually just flocking to it um, more and more. G'day mate, how are you going? G'day, not bad yourself. Yeah, good, thank you so much. In Australia right now, there's around 5 million Uber rides every month. So you could see it's pretty much ripe for competition because not only will the passenger get a better deal, especially during peak times, the so-called price surging, but also the drivers because they will get a bigger cut of your fare. From a driver side, we're only taking 15% commission on the fare, whereas our competitors are taking anywhere up to 30%. Like George, an ex-truck driver who's driven Uber and now thrown his lot in with Taxify. The pricing is different between Uber and Taxify. So hopefully Taxify so far has get my approval. Uber today told Nine News we don't have a comment on this. But what's clear, Taxify is riding on the coattail of Uber, which overcame significant political and regulatory opposition. The fact that that legislation now exists does clear up some of, uh, some of the grey areas. Ross Greenwood, Nine News.